And to he that overcomes shall be a pillar in the temple of God. Guys, we're continuing our series on the seven ecclesia, the seven churches. You can see we have a menorah here, seven lamps. And we're going to talk about the church at Philadelphia, okay? And it's important that you understand, guys, that all the seven churches, okay, the seven ecclesia, the seven assemblies, they have characteristics that are shared throughout, but there's something special about the church at Philadelphia. They maintain characteristics that we find in the 144,000 and the sons of Zadok. Now, let's first just read it. To the angel at the ecclesia in Philadelphia, write, these things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David. And what is the key of David? It's the key to the house of David. It is to his glorious throne in his house, which is what? The temple. And he opens and no man shuts. He shuts and no man opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. And no man can shut it. For you have little strength, and you have kept my word, and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before your feet, to know that I have loved you. So, this is why we have been showing you about the synagogue of Satan, because it, it's mentioned twice in the seven churches. And because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which you have, that no man take your crown. Him that overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he will go out no more. I will write upon him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, New Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name. He has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the ecclesia. Now, there's a lot here, and virtually all of this church of Philadelphia relates to the temple. So, he who overcomes will be a pillar in the temple. What temple? Well, you can see it says New Jerusalem. Well, in New Jerusalem, there's no temple because God and the Lamb are the temple therein. So what temple is this? What is this pillar? This is what we're going to look at in this message, guys. Um, I'm going to make the, the notes available to you, but this is amazing. First off, he said, I have set before you an open door. Guys, we're going to have very, very clear characteristics throughout this that identify the temple. Not just any temple, Ezekiel's temple. That identify the sons of Zadok. That identify the 144,000. They are coded in all of these. So, I have set before you an open door. Now, you may not realize this, but in the temple... The first temple that Solomon built, there was no veil. It was doors. Okay. Uh, clearly, there were doors into the Holy of Holies. So the Holy of Holies, there were doors. Then that temple is destroyed in the temple of the time of Herod. When Christ was crucified, there was a veil. Because as you recall, the veil of the temple was rent. Well, why? Well, it says, Behold, I have set before you an open door. Well, amazingly, in Ezekiel's temple, there is also a temple and a holy of holies. In the holy of holies, there's no door. It describes the posts. It describes the, uh, the size of the entrance, but there's no door. And, um, and he went inside and measured the posts, and the posts were two cubits. And the entrance six cubits high and the width of the entrance seven cubits 
So this is the entrance, but there's no door into the Holy of Holies. It's an open door policy. <laughs> now, when we look at the measurements here, okay, what is a cubit? Well, there's, there's more than one cubit, but I found that if we use the cubit of the first measure, the cubit of a, the first measure is 20.6 inches. Okay, that's this, uh, this length here. That cubit is typically the uh, tip of the elbow to the tip of the finger. Okay. Now, if we use that measurement on those seven cubits, okay, we come to 144 inches. <laughs> Remember I told you the 144,000 are coded in the temple? There you have the door. Behold, he said, I have set before you an open door. Now, there's another measurement that's called a sacred cubit. The sacred cubit is this full length, which is 25.2 inches, okay? And there are other places where um, Ezekiel is instructed specifically you to use the sacred cubit, the longer cubit, the 25 inch cubit. It doesn't say here specifically, but I did the math and I was like, wow, we're onto something. We have 144 inches. Best of my knowledge, this is the only example in scripture of something being seven cubits. Now, um, we also find 144 cubits coded in New Jerusalem. You see that in Revelation chapter 21, when it talks about the wall. Well, the wall is 144 cubits. Again, it's a temple, right? The temple are, are, are measurements. It's a building, but the building is made up of people, okay? We are the temple, right? So here we have coded in it, in the open door, 144 inches, okay? And remember, the veil of the temple was rent in this the Holy Spirit, thus signifying the way to enter the holiest by the blood of Christ. A new living way which he had consecrated us through the veil, that is to say his flesh. So we now have a new and living way to enter the Holy of Holies. And he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him. This is the word for marriage supper of the Lamb. And he with me. Okay. Now, um, also, let's go back to the, the uh, to he who overcomes will be a pillar in the temple. Well, the, the pillar there, there's lots of pillars. We have a, a whole message on the porch of the pillars. Um, but remember, the, the, the pillars are people, right? He who overcomes will be a, a, a pillar. Now, a pillar is a, a structural support. And... In Psalm 144, it talks about these cornerstones. But really in Hebrew, it's a corner column or support. And they're hewn after the pattern of the temple. That's what it says in Psalm 144. So these are structural elements, structural supports of the building. And we know the building are people. Okay? And, um, and let's see, where else do we have those? used okay all right let's go through let's go through and and continue through some of the verbiage to the church of philadelphia he said um take he heed that no man takes your crown now when we look at ezekiel's temple guys there's clearly two types of uh priests in the priesthood and these are the priests according to the order of melchizedek but the priesthood is the sons of zadok and the sons of zadok they have the right to the inner court, okay? And the inner court is a, a particular space. And you know what, just the best way to do this is to just, let's just, let's just take a look at this because I know um, if I do math and describe this stuff, it might be hard to understand. So let's, let's look at this uh, picture. Okay, here's the inner court and Let's remember what it said in Revelation chapter 11. He said, measure the temple, the altar, and those that worship therein. Now what that means is that the, the, the temple is a, is a particular space, okay? The altar is in the center of a space called the inner court, 
okay? And you can see we've, we've drawn the inner court here. In this center is the altar, okay? Now, remember how we said the 144,000 are coded in this inner court? Why? Well, the inner court in Ezekiel's temple, this space here, from here to here, inside, if we measure it, is 90 cubits. On the outside, it is 100 cubits. So 100 cubits is going from this point here to this point here. Now, there are four sides, okay, to each, right? So 90 times four, is, um, where do we have it here, 360. 100 times 4 is 400. Now if we multiply 400 times 360, we get 144,000. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that the inner court in Ezekiel's temple is the sons of Zadok. The sons of Zadok have the right to this area. We have other videos, guys, on the Sons of Zadok, um, which I encourage you to watch. We're not going to get into it for time's sake right now. But we can see coded in the inner court and the altar, remember it said, Revelation 11, measure the temple, the altar, and those that worship therein. So it was only the Sons of Zadok that are allowed in the inner court. Now, back to Revelation chapter 3, verse 11, it says that no man take your crown. Now, when it describes the sons of Zadok, they, um, it describes their clothes and their garments, and they were to wear a turban. So again, everything in, in the Church of Philadelphia, guys, relates to the sons of Zadok. That's who that message is to. And they are the overcomers that are in um, the, this place, in the temple, in the Ezekiel temple. Um, and to him that overcomes, I'll make a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go out no more again there's a a, um, a a place in Ezekiel's temple for the inner gate and the inner court these were for the singers Ezekiel chapter 40 verse 44 verse 45 um, talks about the gate to the south and the keepers of the house and these are the keepers of the charge of the altar. Remember, we saw the altars in the center, all right? These are the sons of Zadok among the sons of Levi, which come near to minister to Yahweh and minister to him. So we measured the court. Now remember, these are people. The sons of Zadok are actually part of the structural temple. And he measured the court, a hundred cubits, okay? Four square. And we showed you before how that's, uh, related to the 144,000 because that's uh, 400 times 4. I mean, uh, four, 100 times 4, 400, and the inside is 90 cubits. So clearly what this is talking about is people. Then verse 49, the length of the porch was 20 cubits and the breadth 11 cubits. And he brought me by the steps and he went into the pillars by the posts, one on each side. Okay, so now we have these pillars. These are actual the pillars in Ezekiel's temple. Okay, and, and these are those that will minister to him. Okay, so guys, whether you like it or not, Ezekiel's temple is going to happen. That's where Christ is going to rule a thousand years. Okay, and you know, if you don't know about this, you, you best do some research. You best learn. Okay, um, because this is this is how it's going to happen. Now, um, throughout guys, throughout all the scriptures in the Old Testament, we know that his name is Alpha and Omega. And in the, in the Hebrew, that's an Aleph Tab. Those are the first and last letters of the alphabet. Now, throughout this, um, we can find this Aleph Tab mentioned in Ezekiel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this scripture in English, but there's a word, an Aleph and a Tab, just two Hebrew letters together. They don't translate in English. When you read English, you don't see a word that represents these letters. They're invisible letters. And the Hebrews don't understand what they are because they don't know Alpha and Omega. Okay? But we know he's the olive and the Tav. So Ezekiel 44, 15, And the priests and the Levites and the sons of Zadok, which kept olive Tav. 
the charge of my sanctuary. When the children of Israel went astray from me, they shall come near to minister unto me. They shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood, says Yahweh. They will enter into my sanctuary and they will come near to my table. Remember how we saw before, behold, the door is open. He will sup with us, right? They shall come near to my table to minister unto me. They shall keep all of Tav, my charge. So th these are those that will sup with him, that will serve at his table, okay? Um, and then they will be judges. Um, the sons of Zadok. Now, these judges are the judges that we see in Revelation chapter 20. Um, there are another places we'll look at in Revelation, but um, as they uh, stand as judges, okay, to judge in judgment, my counsels and my statute, my appointed means, and they shall keep my Sabbaths and, and consecrate them. In Revelation 20, verse 4, 24, um, it says, John said, I saw thrones, and they that sat on them, judgment was given to them. And, th and these are those that it says clearly, lived and reigned as kings with Christ a thousand years. So the sons of Zadok are these priests, these kings that reign in judgment a thousand years. Those are the thrones that John is seeing. And it says, they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. It says it twice. So during this thousand years, these are the elders of Zion. Okay? And they're also the first church, the ecclesia, um, in the upper room. But in the in the last days as well, it's this order of the house of David, okay, of the 24 elders that we see in Revelation. And Isaiah 24, verse 23, And the moon shall be confounded, the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, in Jerusalem, before his ancients, or his elders, gloriously. Obadiah 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Verse 21, and saviors, Yeshua's, will come on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And this is the lamb that we see on Mount Zion in Revelation 14, 1. Isaiah 16, 1 says, Send the lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah to the wilderness to the mount of the daughter of Zion. So here we have these sons of Zadok. Zadok in Hebrew means righteousness. So they are, they are judges and they are rulers in the order of Melchi, King Zedek, righteousness. So uh, the order of priesthood Melchizedek Zedek is righteousness, the sons of Zadok, righteousness, okay? And the Lord himself will sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of his strength out of Zion to rule in the midst of his enemies, okay? And again, these are sons. And so what Christ said, Revelation 21, 6, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to him that is a thirst, the fountain of water freely, he that overcome shall inherit all things. I will be his God and he shall be my son. Okay, the son, what? The sons of Zadok. Guys, you, ask your pastors about this stuff. Ask any, ask your teachers about who is the sons of Zadok. What importance? It's very important, guys. How do you know what the priests are? It's talking about in Revelation 20. How do you know who's sons? Okay, who's raising up as sons? And this is the distribution of David in 1 Chronicles 24, the sons of Zadok, okay? And we have lots on this. If this is new to you guys, I encourage you to watch the House of David play playlist. Why? Because we also see them as porters, all right, that will stand before the throne. They will, they will um, you know, minister and, and open the gates, stand the gates, open the gates as priests okay and we know in the house of david there is an order of judges there's an order of singers and musicians there's an order of porters and an order of the military well we see the 
uh, sons of Zadok doing the same thing. The singers, okay, we can see them as judges. They are porters, and they are in a kingdom of priests, okay? So they also are represented by, as we've explained, 144,000 by the inner court, okay, with the, with the garments. Now, for you, for you that are new to this channel, many of the concepts we're presenting are probably completely new to you. The only thing I could say is I will have links in the description field. I say this in every video, but you guys don't listen to me. You'll just blurt out comments. What about this? What about that? Please, before you ask, before you, you know, learn, educate yourself. This is very important. We're entering this priesthood. We're entering this time, guys. And we'll uh, look at the sons of Zadok uh, some more, okay? But as you look at the 144,000 in the great multitude, you see this this difference, okay? You see that same difference in the millennial temple between the sons of Zadok and the uh, also the multitude, the, those that went astray, okay? So uh, we have videos on that. We'll put it links in the description field. This video, guys, will be part of our seven ecclesia, okay? The pillars in the temple and also the playlist measure the temple so guys as we say watch and pray that you be counted worthy to escape all these things amen